Okay. Welcome back, everyone. Well, as you know, we're, all of us are so fortunate to live in this area for one real reason, Lake George. Most, the queen of American lakes, beautiful body of water, and one that for generations has got mystery and allure and all kinds of things. So you might recognize this person. This is Karina Parnaby. Oh, what a name. <laughs> and it, uh, she's with an organization that is just so dedicated to preserving this lake called the Fund for Lake George. So welcome back, Karina. Thank you. Nice to have you in. Uh, we'd like to bring Karina in um, on occasion just to talk about the certain projects that you're working on, because you have a lot of them up there. Oh, very much. So look, Karina, I think the most significant project is the Jefferson Project. Yes. Right? Uh, we've talked about this before. We're winding up the year. Let's talk about what happened with the Jefferson. Well, let's first tell our viewers what it is, mm -hmm. and then let's talk about what the accomplishments were for this year. No problem. Good. The Jefferson Project is a multi-million dollar, multi-year collaboration between Darren Freshwater Institute, RPI, IBM, and the Fund for Lake George, where we're looking into data and the science, the research behind the water quality of the lake, both the past, present, and the future, being yeah, able right. to model what's out there and be able to find the solutions to any impaction. Well, you know what? You've got some big guns there. You talk about RPI. They're very, very dedicated to mm -hmm. this whole freshwater thing. And you got IBM in there. I assume that that's for all of the advanced technology and Correct. the software yeah, it's and Watson, all of those things. Yeah, it's Watson. supercomputer is actually um, participating. <laughs> well, I haven't seen Watson in Bolton Landing. I don't know. Where's Watson hiding? <laughs> Watson, I presume. <laughs> hey, uh, so 2014, very yes. ambitious year. Yes. What happened? We had a lot happen. We actually had the launching of our very first sensors into the lake. Oh, we wow. have over 10 sensors that were placed into the lake streams and weather monitoring, and they're all drawing data back right now for us to future analyze. Mm -hmm. We also had our big um, October 17th visualization lab up at Darren Freshwater Institute open house where they had our ribbon cutting mm -hmm. and they showed the public what we have available. And then we do have another upcoming event which I'm sure we'll talk about in a minute. <laughs> yes, right, uh, the one tomorrow night yes. and, we, and we will. There's an open house that if you want to see the fruits of this labor, if you want to see what this technology is like, what the data streams are like, it's a pretty fascinating thing. Mm -hmm. Hey. Um, you know, the lake is always under attack, sometimes deliberately and sometimes just because of the course of nature. What kinds of things are you discovering uh, with these sensors? Well, some of the things that we're discovering from the sensors and from our 30 years of science data collection with um, Darren Freshwater Institute through the Fund for Lake George are some impacts. The biggest mm. one, salt. Right, sure. Salt levels have nearly tripled in 30 years. Mm. This can cause some massive issues with species composition, uh, density issues with the water, and human health issues if you have right. hypertension. Other ones that we're seeing are the non-native fish population smelt. Mm -hmm. We thought this was a good thing State started stocking them back in 1918, all the way up into the 70s, and then put a restriction on them because we thought that a lowered smelt population would actually damage the lake trout and the salmon. Mm -hmm. However, we're seeing some really big implications on the smelt and what they're doing to the environment. Well, you know what? That's almost like a, a whole separate subject. I wanted mm -hmm. to cycle back on the salt yes. because it isn't only the salt, it's the nutrients. Mm -hmm. And if you think about it, think about the tonnage of salt that the highway departments have to use during the winter to keep the roads safe, but that runoff. Yes. And people using it in their driveways who live on the lake, that runoff. And the nutrients, of course, a lot of times have to do with the fact that people like beautiful lawns. Mm -hmm. So they're, you know, fertilizing these lawns and doing that. And lo and behold, that stuff is getting washed into the lake. Correct. You know, not deliberate, but the impact is you really have to monitor this, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it definitely needs to be monitored. And while deep water sampling is not showing an increase in phosphorus and nitrogen, you're definitely seeing it near shore where you're seeing huge amounts of algal growth and plant growth. Right. And then the salt alone, over 8,000 metric tons of salt are applied on the roads, just the roads mm -hmm. within our watershed. That does not count publics, mm -hmm. what they put on their own property. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a lot of salt. You know, the lake is so amazingly vibrant. It heals itself, you see this. But every year you spot a little something that, oh, I don't think I've seen that particular plant species before, or mm -hmm. if it's an invasive species. Um, and again, you know, you, that lake, you see it over the winter, and you think to yourself, it's healing itself. 
You know, mm -hmm. it's really trying to keep up with that. But human beings, we bombard this baby, right? <laughs> we love it to death. Yeah, we, yeah, it, your love hurts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so tomorrow night, we've got a, a very interesting event going on at the Fun for Lake George headquarters, which is right in Lake George, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it good. is right okay. in Lake George. It is actually at our center for Lake George, which is our new office and meeting room for our partners and the public. Mm -hmm. And we are having everybody come in for an open house-like atmosphere from 4 to 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have light refreshments and everybody can view some of the stuff that has been created for the mm -hmm. Jefferson Project. Mm -hmm. And if they do want more information, they can go onto our website. Mm -hmm. Good, because you know, this is something that we all really have to support. Uh, some of us are fortunate enough to have homes on the lake, and but every that lake is for everyone's enjoyment. And boy, hats off to you and your organization. Very, very aggressive organization and dedicated to keeping that lake healthy. Oh, thank you. So, Karina, happy holidays to you. <laughs> happy holidays to you. And when you come back in the spring, I need to talk about the smelt. Oh, I don't know yes. a lot about fish, but I know it's a, it has an impact, right? Very much so. Good. Well, thank you for coming in. Thank you. To see this interview again, head to our website, looktvonline.com.